Section 4.6 differentials. In this section, we're going to find the differential of the function, which is the formula that we use to approximate the change in function value. For the function that we're going to use in this case, going to be the function that represents the volume, the revenue, and other real life applications. By definition, if y equals f of x, which is the function, so the y prime, which is the derivative of the function with respect to x, then the differential dy is defined as dy equals the derivative of the f prime multiplied by dx. Recall the notation for the derivative is dy by dx or the f prime of x. If we equate this notation and treat them like the notation dy by dx as a quotient of dy and the dx. So we're going to keep the dy by itself and multiply both sides by dx. Then we're going to get the notation dy in the form of the f prime multiplied by dx. As you see the formula in the box here where the dy is called the differential y. And the dx is differential x. And the f prime is the derivative. On the notes, the chain in, in x is the difference of the two x values or the x2 minus x1, where x2 is x1 plus delta x. The chain in y, the notation is delta y, which is the difference of the y2 and y1, where y2 is the function of x2, and the x2 is the, diff, uh, the sum of the x1 and the delta x. I put the notation here, this is x1 and this is x1. And we're gonna use the delta y, I mean, uh, we're gonna use the dy, which is the differential y to approximate the chain in y. In this example, for y equals x squared, x equals nine, and delta x is 0 0.1. Delta x is the chain from x1 to x2, or the difference of, x2 and x1, that means if x1 equals 9, so x2 gonna be 9 plus 0, 1 or 9.1. Part A, we're gonna find y prime. y prime is the derivative of the y. Since the y is x squared, so then the derivative of x squared is 2x, set it aside. And the delta y that we're gonna find next, delta y is the, diff, uh, the change in y, the chain in y or the value y2 minus y1. And y2 is the function at x2 minus y1, which is the function at x1. In our case, since we list on the side, the x1 is 9, the chain is delta x, therefore the x2 is 9.1. To find the delta y, we're gonna replace the x2 into the function, that means we're gonna find the function at 9.1 minus the function at nine, and then um, subtract these two numbers to be the change in y. So I'm gonna put here, since this is the change in y. From the formula, since y is x squared, so this is gonna be 9.1 squared subtracted by nine squared, and put in the calculator, we're gonna get the delta y equals, let's uh, look at the calculator. So I'm going to type in 9.1 squared and then subtract it by 9 squared. The answer is 1.81. 1.81, the chain in y equals 1.81 or the chain of the y value. So the next part, we're going to find the differential dy. And note, differential dy is used to approximate the chain in y. The formula to find dy is the derivative of the function multiplied by dx, and the dx is the same as delta x, which is the difference of x1 and x2, and the problem given to be 0 0.1. So from what we have, the f prime is 2x, 
and the dx is 0 0.1, then the dy or the differential y is 0 0.2 times x. And what is the x that we are going to use to compute? It's going to be the beginning x or the original x, which is x equals 9. So I'm going to put a bar here as x equals 9. Then 0 0.2 multiplied by 9 equals 1.8. So we have the delta y as 1.81, but the dy or the differential y equals 1.8. The last part, we're going to find the difference of the delta y and dy. From part b, the delta y is 1.81. From part c, dy or the differential y is 1.8. Then we get the difference as 0 0.01.